You already know as a man that you cannot protect and provide for any woman who you don't have authority over, who you don't have influence over. So you can't protect that type of woman. You can't protect the woman who says, I'm going to do what I want to do. You can't protect the woman who says, I don't care what you say. I'm going to do what I want to do regardless. You can't protect that. You know that. So stop trying to convince them. We're not trying to convince them of none of that shit. Just go where you celebrate it. Go with who going to follow your program. If you got to go get your passport to do that, go do that. If you black and you want to date white women and Spanish women or whatever you think, I'm not saying white ice is colder because it's not. White ice is not colder. But if, if, if you find you a white woman who on your program, fuck with her. You know, if you find you a black woman that's on your program, fuck with her. My point is, it's not to say, oh, go date this person or go date that or get your passport. My point is, Go where you celebrate it. Go where you celebrate it. Stop trying to convince women to be on your program and to try to get them to see it your way. You already know what you can and can't do. And you already know that that's not a type of woman that you can protect. It's physically impossible. So stop trying to convince her. Let them suffer. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. And I wanted to lead off with that video for the detractors that are still defending this crap. And I really don't know why. And it's crazy. This story seems to be like the cockroach that won't die and go away. Because there is just more and more info coming out. Confirming that this was pretty much all a scam, man. It, it, it's exactly what I thought it was. I, I think most men can agree that we thought... We, we thought that this pretty much what what it's turned out to be a scam all the evidence pointed to it being a scam all the evidence pointed to it being very disingenuous and yet women were still out here sticking out their neck for this woman because men wouldn't stick out their neck to protect her well after this video you're gonna see that this woman never really needed protection at all this is a bunch of bullshit. Check this next clip out. So, this was all some fantasy she conjured up in her head. Please watch this man's video for further context. I knew she was lying. We all knew she was lying. Everybody knew she was lying. And now it's coming to find out <coughs> that she's the biggest scam artist of all time. She's done this before. And now all these black women that want to come out and want to cap for for her and go off on her and then go off on black men are going to end up looking stupid. They're going to end up looking stupid like we told you you were going to look like. We told you this. We told you this. We told you that's the reason why people didn't want to get involved because we didn't know what was going on. We're not going to get involved with something that we don't know what's going on. That's why I tell people to stay away from shit. And then, and then the crazy part is, is that she's making money off of this. Look at the rest of this video. You'll see how many scams that she's been involved in the whole time. This is why. This is why I tell men not to go rush into trying to save these women. Don't mind your business. Mind your business. You are safer by minding your own business and letting it play out. Because at the end of the day, you're going to find out what really happened. And you don't want to be an idiot by rushing in. It's just, it's, there's a, a phrase, fools rush in. Never rush in. Protect yourself, fellas. Because these women are these women out here in, 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 in modern lines, you can't trust them. You can't trust them. Some of them be out here doing stuff for vi for views, for cap, for some type of, you know, glory, fame, whatever. And this, it just ain't worth it, fellas. It just ain't worth it. It's not worth it. Protect yourselves. Protect your peace. Protect your sanity. You know, and above all, protect yourself first. Have a great day. Now, I wanted to show you guys the original video that he that he was stitching to but check this out this is how you know it's bad 
video currently unavailable and I've reacted to him before matter of fact I was I reacted to him when sprinkle miss sprinkle sprinkle got popular um so I guess I shouldn't be surprised that they took his stuff down but check out these comments this was even more interesting check this out this woman here says I don't feel I don't feel stupid I stand by what I said black women should stop defending slash depending on black men and start creating safe spaces that only we're uh give her a, a loud in and if that was an experiment slash test to see if black men people would protect and stick together we failed yet again and then the creator said go do that and see how far you get there are no safe spaces for anyone yeah anyone meaning regardless of gender it is what it is and i said what i said he said i'm good i'm gonna continue to mind my own business i don't have time to experiment exactly ain't nobody got time for that then this woman here gonna say the biggest scammers are white but you too busy tap dancing to realize i'm on all scammers regardless of color right see and this see and you know what i find that comment very very interesting because this man never never mentioned the fact that she was black or anything like that he said women women in general regardless of race so what was the point of that comment see i'm like i noticed women make comments like this this is them trying to move the goalposts and trying to make you trying to take you off your square of the point that you're really trying to make I hate I hate it when they do that. It, it, it's like, like what was the point? Like that doesn't take away from the point of the fucking video. God damn, I hate it when you women do that. That shit is so fucking stupid. And then check this out. It, 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 look, it's crazy how people want to call you a punk for not wanting to protect her, but yet she started this whole thing for clout, which is insane. It's wild, my guy. Pure insanity. Facts. And then check this out. This is what really got me. This woman says here, well, is the security tape well is the security tape out? Is there a video to prove these claims? We got it, black men. You don't want to protect black women. We got it. Loud and clear. See the shaming tactics, bro? <laughs> that was pathetic. Even in a time where it's obvious this woman is lying and was scamming you still out here using shaming language for men not protecting her you can't make this shit up you gotta be even see this is what i mean bro this is what i mean brothers even when you're right even when you make the right choice and it turns out that you were right it's still your fault it's still you it's still on you you still should have did this ladies i want y'all to understand something this is why men don't want to commit anymore why the fuck would a man want to put up with this shit even when i'm right i'm still wrong well fuck you then i'll just be like bruh mind my own business and stay the fuck out the way damn seriously bro thank you bro i just peeped that too carly russell this is carly russell all over again because you notice when it came out that she was alive women got quiet this this is nuts but th th this is what they defend you guys i'm like and then you and then you got some women like my sister um d marie they they start they starting to see the indifference bro check this out you know it's quite unfortunate and funny i may add just how much a lot of women are out here switching up their tunes now that men are letting them do what they said that they wanted to do, which is to be strong, independent, boss chicks, right? A lot of women have fought for decades, right? To do it all on their own, to be the one that was in the quote unquote dominant leading position, being the ones that are the most powerful and empowered correct so now that men are like okay you got it you can be your own boss 
You can be by yourself. You can be independent. You don't need me. You're absolutely right. Now we're feeling the effects of that. See, oftentimes when it comes to women, we underestimate just how much of a responsibility it can be being that person that is in charge or that is the leader or the provider, the protector, right? We really have it in our minds like, no, I can do that. Anything that these men can do, I can do better. What Tom, what Tommy Sotomayor say? And he made this saying. He made this saying very famous. With equal right, rights come equal left, and it makes a whole lot of sense. Women start. Or women are starting to feel the effects of that. Stories like this, and I think that's the reason why. I think that's the reason why women are defending it so hard, even though more and more evidence keeps coming out that this woman was scamming. This woman that made over forty thousand dollars off of y'all. And the simps that wanna, and the simps that wanna smash. I'm like, because she just happens to have a nice body. That okay. was pathetic. That ain't gonna help y'all, but okay. Beta. So, th 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 this is the result of it. You're, you're, there's, you're starting to see an indifference, and women are starting to feel the effects of it when stories like this come out, and women are like shocked at men's reaction. Even though women been talking down on men for fucking decades. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. They're not blindly protecting us anymore. I wonder why. You must unlearn what you have learned. And then and I'm like, and then, and then they wonder why when they come on my channel, I don't, I don't got no, I don't, I don't got no quarrels with calling y'all stupid anymore. I used to actually hold back on that. But the more, but the more shit like this come out and the more y'all defend this bullshit, I don't have a problem calling y'all stupid anymore. You stupid. On to the next clip, cause it's more evidence and more receipts. It's not looking good for Shorty, man. Check this out. And first I wanna say shout out to Miss um, uh, Mamarada. I bow before my husband. Make sure y'all subscribe to her channel. She, act she actually clipped this from Pink Book Lessons. So shout out to Pink Book Lessons as well. And I wanna play this clip for you guys cause some more dirt came out done before shout out to this brother on tiktok i'll leave the link below for you to see the rest the woman totally lied you even had a nurse who claimed that she put that solution in her face to get it to swell up and went to their clinic to get it drained out you know who contacted me the nurse the nurse from the alleged hospital was not a hospital it was a clinic and this is what she had to say Yes, she came in to get the saline extracted from the side of her face, which means she never got hit with a brick. She injected saline into her face to create the lump. That's why she wore the ski mask, so y'all wouldn't see the lump that she created. And don't forget, she's in the medical field, so she has access to saline. Anyway, let's finish reading. She claimed it was a botched beauty treatment. That's definitely our med check, not the hospital. She must have filmed that little clip while waiting on the nurse after asking her to put on the gown. And y'all fell for this. Y'all fell for this. This is the nurse from the clinic. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, Yeah, bro. This woman is looking like a scammer. She's looking like a fraud. And ladies, instead of protecting this woman, instead of protecting and defending this woman, y'all need to hold this woman accountable so that way men will want to protect you. Because y'all over here, uh, we get it. Y'all don't want to protect us loud and clear. Y'all ain't helping y'all case when y'all over here defending a woman who's literally lying. Why, 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 why would men, why even make the argument to even want protection when men are clearly showing y'all this woman is lying men men were hesitant for a reason and every reason why they didn't do it is coming to light and y'all still want to have this woman's back and still defend her you can't make this shit up you can't make this shit up y'all heard it 
See, this is why when women want to sit over here and say men don't hold each other accountable, that's a bunch of crap. That's a bunch of bullshit. We got women out here defending. We got women out here defending a damn scammer. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. But men don't hold each other accountable, man. Shut the hell up, man. Y'all just want men to hold the men accountable that y'all want. That's what y'all mean when y'all say that. That's another story for another day. They they don't want me to go down that rabbit hole. But let me know what y'all thought about this, man. I'm like, at this point, I'm pretty sure y'all thinking she she a fraud yourself. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way I know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's what the algorithm helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler, Wells, my latest mixtape, Lost Music Volume 2. And if you want to purchase any of the merch, check out the Spreadshot.com link. That is in the description as well. Until the next video, y'all, deuces.